Yes, in the following video, I'm going to show you how to use the inspector tool from Google Chrome to check out the image sizes on your website. So to do this, um, it's going to be very useful whenever you are going to approach uh, your new website or your existing website and you want to know what size you should be uploading your images at. Now this method is not uh, the one, um, the be all end all for image sizing. Um, everyone will have different screens and everyone will see the images on um, specific sizes. So there are recommended image sizes for your website. You can check out um, our documentation uh, flowthemes.com uh, recommended image sizes and you'll see some recommendations for that. But for the smaller elements on your site, uh, like these featured images and um, some of the images throughout the, the website, this method is going to be really useful whenever you want to place some of the items on your website. Now it's quite useful, it's quite easy to do this. Um, all you have to do is come to your website on Google Chrome, find an element that you would like to find the size of, right click it and hit inspect. Now with that you'll get the inspector tool or you can also come over here once you've uh, inspected the page and you can click this and you can inspect any element on the site. So you can see uh, this image is, is uh, 436 by 283 uh, and we know that with uh, retina devices you need to have images double that size so you'll want to upload an image here of around 900 pixels by 570 there and thereabouts um, you can sort of do the math yourselves but just double that double that up it doesn't have to be exactly perfect 100 percent but it's close as possible to that Again, you can do this at any any section of your site. Um, again, maybe you want to find the size for this image, so you come over and inspect it. You see it's 580 by 770, for example. So again, just double that up, and that will give you the right size that you need um, for whenever you're displaying your site on retina devices. Now, another place that um, is pretty useful to check this out on would be your um, listing pages. Well, actually, a single blog post. Um, the listing pages will have featured images again, so you will want to check and see what uh, what view type you're using. For example, if you're using this view type a lot, uh, then you can ch choose and select images for that. But if you're inside a single blog post and you want to know the width of a blog, um, it tends to be one of the places where people upload very large images and it uh, slows down their website. Just come in and check the width of the site. So again, we see the, the site here is 1,000. Uh, 100 pixels basically and the images are uploaded at 960 so again you can upload an image double that size 960 by 704 and then on a retina device it's going to be nice and crisp now whenever you are thinking about images for your blog posts um, always think about the width and um, height in this respect is kind of irrelevant because the constraints are always in the width of the image so if you're uploading a portrait image for example you'll just use the same width as you would for a regular image like a landscape image now on a portfolio uh, in a single gallery you'll actually want to think about the height uh, because the height will be the constraining factor because again width is going to be auto if you're using a combination of images so again in this case I know the height is going to be 600 pixels for my slideshow so I'm going to upload images of 1200 pixels in height. Again, you can do this throughout the site, find all the different elements, and then whenever you optimize your images and save them correctly for the web and re upload them to the website, you're going to have a much faster and optimized website and it's going to look much better and provide a better user experience for your users. So hopefully that helps, guys. Uh, let us know if you have any questions and good luck optimizing your site.